Time to learn about responsive designs. iPhone devices come in multiple screen sizes, and we're trying to get our design to fit in all of them. To achieve that, we'll need to use pin and advanced constraints. In general, constraints either set a fixed distance between two views or define a relationship between two views dimensions. Let's start with the pin constraints. All views come with some pre-enabled pin constraints. For example, the register label is pinned to the top left. Which means that when we change the preview device, it'll keep the same distance with the top and left sides. If you're not sure about what each pin does, you can simply look at the responsive simulator on the bottom right corner of the pin inspector. You can preview your design in different screen sizes by using our iPhone device selector. If we want to pin it to the right side, we'll need to disable the left and enable the right pin. Now, let's update the constraints of our text fields. As you can see, the subviews are pinned to their container view, and not the screen. If for example we try to make it smaller from the top, the elements will move down. That's because they are pinned to the top of the container view, and they will keep the same distance with the top side. We can even pin an element to the center, by keeping the same distance with the left and right sides. For the label though, we need to also change the text alignment to center. We can again change between devices to check what the result looks like on each one. Now, let's revert it to the left side. Finally, we will complete the pins for the container view. First, we need to make all the elements have the same distance from the left and right. This ensures that they will be pinned to the center in bigger devices. We need to do this for the buttons too. If we check the design in bigger devices, we will see that the container view didn't get bigger. That's because we hadn't set any pin constraints for it. Let's pin it to the left and right with zero distance. Kodika informs us that we cannot have left, right and also width constraints. One of the three values needs to be adjustable, so we disable the width so the container view can become bigger when needed. Let's have another look at the height and constraints of all the elements. 